everybody. Hi, everybody. It's Life on Earth with Larissa. I am Larissa. Thanks again for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you pause, go hit the subscribe button, and come right back to this video. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am about to introduce a series of videos that I'm going to be having, um, and they're all relating to health. So they're Today. all uh, Today's video, I am taking you on my visit to the eye doctor. So I'm going to the optometrist um, so I can get my yearly, uh, my eyes checked, and I'm taking you on, on my experience. So... Stay tuned. Uh, all right, so here I am at um, at the uh, eye place. So, um, and there I am. So, I <laughs> see me there in a mirror. Anyway, um, I am not there for glasses, but you know how you're just like waiting. I'm like, okay, since I'm in. Since I'm here waiting, let me just browse the glasses a little bit. But um, I don't get new pair of glasses every year. I think every other year I can I can get glasses. So one year I get glasses, the next year I'll up my contacts. So I'm just uh, looking over these a bit. But I really came in today to get and um an eye exam so i i can get some updated contacts so that's the purpose of my visit today but these are some some nice frames um yeah these are some some really nice frames so um i didn't start wearing glasses until i became an adult so <laughs> so I need to make sure my I have an updated prescription for uh, my contact lenses. Okay, so here I am um, undergoing my, uh, the various eye exams um, that happened, but uh, like I said, I'm doing a prescription for contacts today, but this is part of the eye exam. Comment below, do you, do you wear glasses? Do you wear contacts? Comment below. And uh, how often do you go to um, the eye doctor all right so I do uh, have insurance and so hey I'm paying my insurance so I want everything that my insurance comes with <laughs> so here can you read that bottom line can you see that <laughs> So like I said, I, I am coming in for contacts. And thank you for my loyal subscribers. I do want to say that since that came there on the screen. But I'm trying out color contacts today. So I do uh, normally get uh, clear contacts, but why not try on colors? Is that all right? Comment below. What do you think about uh color contacts uh, what do you think about it let me know uh, you think we should just keep the eye color that the good lord gave us um, do you think it's okay to try out different colors 
Um, what do you think about it? Please comment below. All right, so here I am uh, cleaning my hands, uh, getting ready to uh, try on uh, various eye contact colors. So um, I know that it's not my real eye color, but why not try something different, right? I'm really interested in knowing what you all think, but comment below. I think it's okay to try out different things. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to be trying different colors. Hmm. That, that looks, um, I think that's green. I think that's like a green color. So I'm trying to uh, see is either that's green or hazel. Let me see. I gotta see because I think that's oh oh that one's purple <laughs> oh I like that I like that purple what do you think hmm okay Sterling. these remind me of cat eyes that is really really different hmm and, and the lady that was there uh, helping or uh, giving me the different colors, she, uh, she got a lot of giggles out of this process, especially when things were just, uh, just uh, bold. <laughs> Green, what do you think about that? I like that. Hmm. So many choices. All right, now this color, this is considered brilliant blue. Y'all, this thing is blue. The, to me, it doesn't, for me, it just doesn't look natural. And I like, I like things to, to look natural. Look at that. I mean, I, the color is cute, but just not, I don't think it's, it's for, for my eyes. It just, no. It, no, look at that. It just doesn't look natural. <laughs> All right, so. Um, yeah, so um, I've gotten contacts in the past before. That's a purple, I mean, that's a pure hazel. So that looks more natural. I did like that. Pure hazel. Um, I've gotten contacts in the past before color ones, and I, I've gotten the ex prescriptions contacts, um, and I've also got the ones uh, that did not have a prescription, so I can wear them with my glasses. So, um, yeah. So if you ever have to do that, just consider getting a pair that didn't have a prescription so you can wear them with your glasses so uh, something different true sapphire what do you think about that um, I don't know why I, oh I, I think I liked it I guess I'm shaking my head like all oh, right <laughs> so hmm I'll have to give you an update on on uh, what end up happening regarding that but context context what do you think about that
And in this, in your right eye, we look at how the blood vessels and everything come into your eye. So we look at what's called the cup and we compare the cup to the rest of the nerve. So the cup in this eye is pretty big compared to your other eye. Let me try to bring up in just a minute. So that's your right eye and then this one's your left eye and the cup's much smaller here. So for us, that's a precursor for glaucoma. I was, that's why I was wondering if anybody ever mentioned it. The cup. Well, yeah. The cup, meaning is that... Yeah, see this white area here? Yes. We like this area to be about a, about a third and yours is larger. And for us, that's a precursor for glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I was, that's why I was men wondering if any ever mentioned that your the two discs are different measurements. What causes that? Did I do something? No, it's usually, it's usually a genetic, genetic thing. Oh, it is? Yeah. So what we watch for is make sure that cup doesn't get any larger and we watch the pressures in your eyes. Okay. Oh, okay. And did you want to see the first available doctor? Or I, did you want a specific doctor? Um, I don't, I don't know because I have to make sure I find somebody because they have to be in my network. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, so what what we are doing is we're just creating the referral. Um, CEI will give you a call. All right, so that experience was something I was not expecting. Um, there will be follow-up visit. It, well, there will be additional videos in regards to what happened uh, after uh, the optometer said uh, there are signs that I could possibly have glycoma. My first thing was, I didn't come here for that. And I really did not go there for that. So stay tuned in the next video and I'll share with you my experience when I went to the glycoma specialist.